Welcome back, everybody. It's just about 839 on this Thursday. Alzheimer's disease affects as many as 5 million people in the U.S. And so far, there's no treatment to prevent the disease, but a new study out of Rush University Medical Center right here in Chicago on the west side found that certain foods we eat can lower our risk by as much as 35 percent. Here with us this morning here in the Good Day Chicago studios is the author of that study, Dr. Martha Morris. Dr. Morris, thank you for joining us. We thank appreciate you. it. So let's jump right in and talk about this. As a doctor, you're so into finding a cure for Alzheimer's because it affects millions of people. Going in, did you know that it would have something to do with the foods that we eat? Well, I've actually been studying foods, nutrition, and the brain and dementia for about 20 years. So we put this diet together based on all of that research. So what foods did you find then that works in the treatment here? Because we're talking about 35%. Right. Uh, green leafy vegetables was an important component of the diet. So almost one serving per day of green leafy vegetables and berries, um, a serving of berries per day or at least two times a week. Um, fish, one meal a week and um, then lowering your, um, the foods that you eat that are high in saturated fat. So um, this eating plan, if you stick with some of the stuff, we're looking at some video okay. of some of the fresh fruits and produce that you talk about eating. Okay. If we stick with this MINE diet, we have, you said, like you said, you can cut your risk by about 35%. What do you say to the critics out there that say, wait a minute, wait a minute, is this all I have to do? Well, it's one of the things that you should do. So a healthy diet is good, but also um, physical activity, making sure you're physically active every day and cognitively active and socially active. Those are all important things to prevent Alzheimer's disease. And I know, Doctor, that you guys in the study there at Rush University, you have broken it down by race, blacks and whites, and how it affects each ethnic group. Right. Is your MIND diet even breaking it down like that? Are you breaking it down into categories like that as well? We have found that those um, foods that I just mentioned mm -hmm. are effective in lowering the risk in both blacks and whites, yes. And you also say that you don't even have to stick to it like every single day. Right. It's not like it's a diet diet, yes. but if you do this a couple of times a week, you can really cut your risk. Well, um, so people who really adhered very well to the diet, they had a 53% reduction in risk. So you're talking about three servings of whole grains, a salad plus one veggie, one glass of wine. Yes. <laughs> That's you a like good that? one. Yes. Okay, but serving of one. nuts, one, just one <laughs> glass, okay. You mean I can't, if I drink the bottle, it doesn't help mm, me a little bit more? That would not be good. Okay, serving of nuts, beans every other day, and poultry berries twice a week. This yes. is what you just mentioned. Yes. So people, if you, you don't have to be you don't have to be that strict on this, but if you just do something, this right. is easy to follow. Yeah, so we scored it. We had a maximum score of 15. Nobody reached that high score. The highest score that people reached was 12. But even uh, people that had a score of 9 to 12, those were the highest adherence. And when you say, talk about the score, what are you, what are you talking so about? So there's 15 components to the diet, mm -hmm. and if you adhere to each one, you get a score of one. Okay. So, um, yeah, so, yeah, it's... People who adhered to it very strongly had a 53% reduction in Alzheimer's How disease. encouraging is this, and we're gonna, this will be my last question, we've got to sure. wrap it up, is this for people out there who have a history of it? Um, I think that people are looking for what they could do themselves to maybe cut their risk, and this is one easy way. All right, if people want more information, Dr. Morris, where can they find it? Um, on the rush.edu. Uh, Thank you so much, Dr. Thank you. Martha Morris. Have a good weekend. We appreciate your information here.